So, uh, Dr. Edward Cass here, Infinity Google, you're sitting on a number, one with a hundred digits, and he needed a name, and a smart ass little nephew, so why don't you fucking call it a Google? And you know what, I'll do one better, why don't you call a Google Plex a number with a, a Google of zeros? And so he did. So Google's like, a really fucking big number, but I didn't realize this at the time. I thought to myself, a Google, a hundred digits, that's easy, I can write it out, I'm done in 30 seconds, let's move on. So I decided, wouldn't it be badass if I printed out an entire Googleplex, like the one with the Google of zeros, and luckily I had a job with lots of toner and paper, and so I did some calculations and I realized I probably want to use a, a, a one-point font. Uh, I stripped away the margins and I did the math and I found out, well, you can fit about 500 million zeros on about an inch thick of paper, and I was like, oh, this is going to be so sweet, I'm going to carry around my Googleplex book. And they're like, you've never seen a Googleplex? They're like, yeah, 10 to the 10 to the 100, easy. I'm like, no, no motherfucker, why? <laughs> this is a Googleplex. Wham! <laughs> so the problem is, uh, the stack of paper ends up being 5.49 E73 light years tall. That's... That's, uh, that's significantly larger than the diameter of the universe itself. Which, actually you need 5.9 E62 universes to hold your Google book. And I was like, God damn it! So then, I, I figured it out, I was like, no, 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 I got this, I got this. I was like, have you ever been to the, to the Great Sand Dunes National Park? desert, and the sand in the ocean, well, whatever, I was like, it's gotta be something like that, so I did the math, and you can fit it, you can fit like a thousand grains of sand in a cubic millimeter, by the way, this is a shitty slideshow, this is just me showing my work, uh, so any science teachers, you know, you can, you can prove it, a thousand, a thousand grains of sand in a cubic millimeter, so a Google of sand takes 2.45 E78 cubic miles. And I was like, well, that's, that can't be that much, right? I mean, it's sand. Well, actually, Google sand equals 9.42 E66 Earth. That's, again, this is sort of pointless. Like, imagine the planet is nothing but sand. Now imagine six and six and then 64 zeros behind it of those sand planets. And that's, so I went back to the universe. I was like, would you could can you even fit a fucking Google of sand in the universe? Why do I have this goddamn number? <laughs> so, the universe is huge, I mean, it's 2.73 E23 radius. You cube that motherfucker, you gotta be getting close, right? Um, no, apparently, you need 28,800,000 universes to hold one Google of sand. Small. They're like, the time it takes light to travel the distance between an electron ring. And if you went from the beginning of the universe till now, there hasn't been a Google of Planck times, idiots. But, well, check that 70 factorial is over Google. So there, 71 factorial, 73 factorial. Factorials are cool. So by 2210, they should, if they keep up the same rate of, you know, acquiring pages, they should have their, their Google. And then it'll be cool because kids won't have to think about books that are giant and sand. They can think like, okay, well, just imagine one, and then every page Google has ever, ever, ever indexed is a zero, and there's your Google Plex. Um, but then, yeah, Carl Sagan's a cool dude, and he was like, a Google Plex is precisely as far from infinity as a number one. Which is insane! to think about, especially after you've been through these gymnastics. So thanks. Yeah. By the way, by the way, if 
If you like this show, check out Power Towers. And, uh, oh, a Google multiplex. It's not a theater.